Hello each and every one of you and welcome. This is Lisa and this video I'm <laughs> hoping I'm going to be able to get it through to you guys. Um, I'm going to go a little bit into uh, censorship and Scientology. All right, so those of you who saw the shorter video that I did on Scientology yesterday, uh, that I released yesterday, um, uh, and if you're going to watch this later, that would have been uh, on March 21st. So I put that out and I stated in that video that Scientology Church is serious about who speaks out on them and um, if they speak out. So. I thought, well, let's see how much influence they think I've got because they don't think that you, you really matter. They're, they will ignore you. Well, I can tell you this and not trying to be paranoid because this could be a coincidence. However, it's very strange that ever since I put that video out, each and every video since then has been being held to uh, for review by not me, by YouTube. Um, and in fact, as I'm talking to you right now, I have five that you guys haven't seen and they are, there is, there's no cursing in them. There's no nothing in them. There is zero in there. Um, uh, there's nothing uh, that should censor this. Uh, you would see uh, more intensity on the, on the note, the news you watch at night or something like that. So when I say, that the Church of Scientology tries to shut people down, they absolutely do. And if you're like, I don't care, I'm not a Scientologist, I don't care anything about that, um, here's why you should, because that's where Scientology, this is where their power lies. Because people think, oh, they're just a silly cult. Yes, yes, they are. Um, but they're just a silly cult, and what can they do to anyone? And just, I don't wanna be a part of it, I'm not one, so it's no big deal. All right, think about this, you guys. Most, uh, most every cult dies with its leader. Okay, let's think about Jim Jones, Jonestown. How many, how many more of them are left? The uh, Branch Davidians that were, laid by, um, that were led by David Koresh. There's very few. And then, you know, the Heaven's Gate guy, <laughs> Marshall Applegate. Well, they all committed suicide, so well, they all died. But the founder of Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard passed away in 1986. Scientology is still booming. Um, think of the members that they have. This church has a lot of money. And for those of you who live in Florida near one of their headquarters, which is Clearwater, you know Scientology is running that town. Okay. So for me, with this whole thing, First of all, do not, uh, look, I will, you'll still, if, even if they decided to, to take away my entire channel, I am on TikTok, I am on Instagram, I am on Facebook and Twitter. I am considering Patreon and I also have a website that is, it, it's, it's not totally really ready, but all the videos that I put on, they automatically go to the website. So yeah, I've, I'm not stupid. I, I'm not going to have every all the content lost. Um, but I must have touched on something. And, you, and if any of you are still going, what has that got to do with narcissism? Okay, there can be competition in churches for this particular thing. But however, with Scientology, um, <clears throat> uh, it, it, that that's one of the most, at least in the top five, most narcissistic churches that you could belong to. Um, and they even, they teach their members that you as an individual, you as a person, that's the least where your attention should go. That you are the least, you don't matter. Like you, your physical life even does not matter. That's what they also call their first di dynamic. The second dynamic is you as a couple um, in a marriage with children, and that doesn't matter to them either. So I will talk more of this. Um, I just, <laughs> I'm just trying to get this out. And if I disappear from <laughs> YouTube, I'm still around. Check the other platforms. Thanks you guys for paying attention and watching this. I appreciate it.